Righto guys, in this video I'm going to try and uh, make my own jet unit. I haven't got that much done this week so far because I've been down with a sickness. <coughs> made all these pieces here at work. I'm just about to make the fins for the back part that holds the bearings. I'm just copying a jet ski unit. So I'll cut these out of 3mm plate and uh, weld them to here. Okay, I've cut these out of 3mm plate. I'll try and explain what I'm doing here. That pipe goes inside there. And these fins are going to like wrap around there like that. And the impeller will be on the front. I'm not going to use this, it's just to show you. So that'll spin, pushing the water. And then that will correct the flow back to straight. This whole part will go inside here, but I have to machine the outside once I've welded all these on. So next thing I'm going to do is bend this. Bend these to fit around here nice. Okay, so this has been welded up now. The bearing is going to go in there. So the next thing I've got to do with this is uh, put it in the lay. Probably might have to do it between centers. Alright, that's machine. Joel gave me a hand with that because I was uh, taking too long. Just a perfect fit in there. It actually still has to come out anyway because I'm going to cut the slots to oh, no. weld through. It's going in forever. Okay, so I've just um, ground into the back of that so that I can get a weld through from this side to weld those veins in. So let's weld that up, see how it goes. Okay, ready to machine the outside of this. Righto, I've got this part all made up. Uh, board the middle out there uh, for these bearings. It's going to go in there. I've left a bit of extra room so I can slide like a cone in there. That side's bored out. I've left room for an oil seal because the uh, impeller is going to be on this side. I've packed this thing full of grease. I've taken apart the mighty two stroke trike. Here's a uh, few images of that thing going. <laughs> So it's a 210 cc power motor engine. All right, so I made that tape myself actually, but uh, Joel's helping sort out my the part that goes inside the back bit because you can't machine it once I've cut that cone off. So he's just going to bore a slot for the O-ring. So Joel's just uh, made a groove for the O-ring. He stuck it on there. Are you happy with that, Joel? We can't get it back out anyway. Oh, we'll figure it out. We have the technology. All right. And then we, we're going to part it off. Yeah, I don't want to believe it. Oh. Righto, there's that thing shoved in there. So the bolt will go in, hold it all together, and no water can get in. Okay, so I've cut some um, little fins. They're going to sit like that. Cut up this thing, then I'm going to fold up into a cone. That'll go around there. The same sort of profile as that. So yeah, just cut it out of a piece of 
cardboard, bend it around, then cut it out a piece of aluminium, beat it around with a hammer, easy as. Alright, we've got some dodgy stuff going on here. Made this cone last night and Joel's just trying to square it up a bit for me with the lathe. This is not how you're supposed to do it. It's not how you're supposed to do it, but it's happening. So I also made these two plates up. I had to hold them in the four jaw chuck and do it on the big lathe. So I just bought a recess on one to sit over there for the cane to weld to. Then this one is going to go over. This is going to be the wear sleeve. This is going to go to there and this is where the uh, intake is going to be welded onto here. The next thing I'm going to do is weld these things on. All right, I cut some slots in here that I'm going to weld this on. In my professional opinion of making jet units, which I've never done before, I only welded one side of here, thinking that's probably strong enough. And then I've just got to weld this on here. And then this part is almost done. Well, I still need a nozzle and a steering system, but I'll do that later. Okay, so finish welding that off. I'm looking for a taper so I can make this rounder. And I just found my jewel press truck is the right size. That's better. So we just got this in the lathe now because I want to bore that out so I've got room for the bolt. So Joel's just helping clock it up, roughly. Ooh. Bang the 13 in there. Need a center drill, we'll be right. No, I think you should, yeah, you do. Why? Will it try oh, and walk yeah. off? Yep, go on then. No, I don't break it. <laughs> I'm a bit worried now. Quick tank. What's it for? Ah, uh, this hole's just for. This hole is just for lightening it a bit, and the um, next one is going to be so there's room to put a nut. Ah, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. Cool. Yep, tighten it right. all the way. That's fine. That's fine? Yep. Whoa. We got all about the extra shots here. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Ninja. Oh. oh yeah. It's like grams lighter. Like tenths of grams for you Americans. <laughs> okay, so I've cut a cardboard template out for my intake. Now I'm just time to. Now it's just time to cut it out of aluminium. Okay, I've uh, beaten this all around with a hammer. It's kind of the shape I want. It's pretty close actually. So I'm just gonna start tacking this together. I'm gonna have to pull it in a little bit further so that it's the same as that diameter there. Got that tacked on there, it actually bent the flange at a square, so I've just straightened it up a little bit. And I've made this piece to weld on the bottom here. It's got the piece of wood in there to hold it out. So yeah, I'll just try and uh, weld that in there. Oh. 
Okay, that's all welded off now. Next thing I've got to do is make a grate for in here, but I'm going to make it out of stainless steel so it can handle going over the rocks and stuff. Just going to cut this out, I've just marked out what I'm going to do, so I'll cut that out and see how it fits. So I got that grate all in there now, the rest of it's sort of somewhat assembled. So next time we're going to make the impeller and the shaft and that, got to bore a hole through here. Uh, thanks for watching guys, see you next time.